Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the fourth video of VMware VCP 5.5 vSphere training and in this video I am going to show you how to install VMware ES ESXi host 5.5 step by step. So as I have mentioned in my introduction video I am going to use four virtual machines in this demo. One is uh, one for Active Directory server, Active Directory and DNS server which is my domain controller Win2K8 DC01 here you can see my domain controller if I log into my server and check the server roles on the server manager under the roles you can see active directory and, D, uh, and DNS is installed here and my second server is vcenter server which is uh, vcenter-01 on which I have installed my vcenter server vcenter web client and v, uh, vmware vspare client and I have two ESX host which is ESX-01 and ESX-02 both with the 4 GB RAM in the first slide you can see I have installed I have installed my ESX-01 host in my infrastructure you can see also here here is my ESX-01 ESX I have done the installation and basic configuration like naming the host configuring the IP address and these details here you can see on slide also I have done the basic configuration for my ESX host and in this video I am going to uh, install my ESX2 host so here is my ESX host 2 I have not done anything right now so I am going to just click on edit and I am going to browse the installation media of ESX 5.5 under the ISO folder I have VMware ESXi server 5.5 I am mounting the media installation media here and just power on the server cancel it so boot from local hard disk or ESX 5.5 and ins standard installation go ahead so loading ESXi installer you can see it's booting it's loading the required files So, initializing scheduler. So, here is the information VMware ESXi 5.5, VMware kernel, release build, build. This is the basic build number VMware Encom on a virtual machine platform. I have assigned two physical CPU like two cores, and my processor is i7 and GHz 2.6 GHz. I have assigned 4 GB RAM to this machine. So this is the hardware configuration. Minimum you require 4 GB RAM to install ESXi 5.5. So all the hardware requirement are fulfilled. So we have got to go to install the ESXi. So it will take some time here. So here's the option escape to cancel, press enter to continue, to hit enter. And here is the X lesson segment, press F11 to accept and continue. So VMware ESXi 5.5.0 installer is running. And we have 40 GB local hard drive with the ESX server. So go ahead and install the ESXi OS in 40 GB, 40 GB drive click enter so it is scanning and gathering the information about the selected device it will take a few minutes so just wait for a few seconds so here we are you need to select the language so I'm going to select US default hit enter and this is the by default the ESXi have root I administrator account and you just need to put the password there so I have to type the my password and hit enter again it's gathering some system information So we are on confirm screen. The installer is configured to install ESXi. 
so go ahead and press enter to install the OS and now you can see it's installing ESXi 5.5.0 so it's like 9% completed and I'm pausing the recording here and once the installation done and it's get the 100% done I will back with the recording so ESX 5.5.0 has been successfully installed and enter to reboot so I am going to hit enter to reboot the my server ESX host so this server will shut down or reboot this vessel takes a short time to complete so rebooting server just be patient it will take some time so here we are the server is rebooted so it's loading the kernel So almost the installation is complete and we go ahead to uh, do the basic configuration for our ESX-02 host like uh, configuring the IP address, configuring the host name and every detail. So just wait for login screen. So here we are uh, at the login screen and press F2 to customize or view your logs. So I'm going to press F2 and it is asking for admin root password. So I'm giving my root password and press F2. Then it will get to you like configure password. The first option is configure password and you can type the old password and new password and just hit enter to reset the password. So I'm going to do here like configuring network management, configure network management, hit enter and we have like network adapter VMNIC01 and I'm going to configure IP address. So use the static IP address as my, uh, you can see from my uh, uh, slide, this is the IP address which needs to be configured on ESX-02. So I'm going to do it, use the static. I'm going to put here IP is 192.168.1.251 just be confirm it's it's 252 needs to be configured so 252 and the subnet mask 255 255.255.0 and I am not going to connect this net uh, this ESX host to internet so leave the uh, leave the default gateway default and ipv6 i'm going to disable the ipv6 so it enters so you can see here ipv6 is disabled now and on the dns configuration i am going to put my active directory server ip address here 192.168.254 and i'm leaving the alternate dns and the host name i'm going to put it here esxi02 dot vector info so dot com my domain name and custom dns suffix i'm going to put my domain name here hit enter so seems everything good just press escape and it is asking for applying the change applying change and reboot the host so we did some configuration changes on network management which required reboot to take the effect so I'm going to press yes to reboot and you can see restarting host so after the restart we can see we are able to see the required configuration which we have done now which will ref reflect on server so just wait to reboot the host
so the host is rebooted and it's loading files so now you can see the server is rebooted and we have configured the name IP address all the details on the our ESXi 02 so now we have all the four server ready ready for the production like our uh, domain control we have a, a vCenter server we have two ESX host ESXi EX, uh, ESXi-01 and ESXi-02 so we are done with this configuration and we are done with the installing the ESXi host 5.5 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can send me on mail id uh, uh, mail me on my given mail id thank you once again bye bye